John here, again. I'm just ringing up the police station again to see if I can get a hold of Aaron Pasco or uh, now I'll ring Tony Gildenhuis, uh, the policeman I get on with. Okay, here he goes. This is getting serious. Yes, Lauren. Could I speak to um, um, Tony Gildenhuis, please? Um, he's not in his seat just now. Can I take a message and get him to call you back? Yeah, yeah, please. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, my number is 3684842. 3684842. Eight, yes. And uh, what was your name? John Wanoa. W A N O A. Yep. On the waterfront. Yep. Fraud case. Fraud case. Yeah. But he knows. Um, he's been doing my case. Okay. He's back from his holiday now. Um, would um, Aaron Pasco be there by any chance? Uh, have a look for you. Aaron. Aaron. I'll just put you through. Detective Senior Sergeant Aaron. Yep. I'll put Pasco. you through his extension now. Thank you. himself. Hi, uh, Aaron, uh, Detective Aaron, Senior Sergeant. <coughs> John Wanoa here. I'm just calling you up. Uh, you would have received uh, 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 some documents that I was waiting for you to respond to. Uh, so uh, that hasn't happened. And so I, I, I presume now that uh, there's nothing much you can do about it, so I just want to let you know that uh, I'm uh, talking and instruct a uh, private investigator, uh, Graham Elliott, Elliott Investigations, to proceed, to go ahead and seize the property on 61 Cook Street. Uh, this is a commercial lien contract uh, between me and all the people I've accused. So by you <coughs> being involved to stop me from going on to the section, it has now become a complaint uh, to the British government, our partners, that's our, that's our commercial trading partners, and the High Court of Admiralty there. So that complaint has gone there, and so I have to deal with you as an accessory to these fraud people I've accused. They haven't replied either. Neither has the police commissioner or my Clement, the District Commander of Auckland Police. So none have refuted anything I'm saying, although it is a fraud case that the lawyer, uh, Yu Tai Choi, that's our QC, Notary Public Lawyer, <coughs> knows it's a case of fraud. What we're doing is we're, because there's state agents involved in the fraud. We're keeping it out of the court, in front of the public, the people who are waiting for answers. We've got this all on uh, Facebook. Our uh, uh, audience and our membership. Uh, we've got over 3,000 members in our Maui Crown case, okay? Uh, confederation. So, uh, to you, Aaron, uh, you're, you're, you're in the contract now with me and those people by default of you're not answering to the affidavit I sent you. It makes you <coughs> party to the fraud.
that's an issue for you uh, as both to me, to stop me from going about my business in the Admiralty Law Court uh, scene uh, of, uh, <coughs> of what we're doing with the contracts on that land, the piece of land. Uh, so I'm just saying, you're a police officer, but I'm proficient in contract law, with the contract lawyers we've got. And Charles Hirschfeld, the criminal barrister, that's leading the Confederation to the United Nations, to uh, Washington, D.C., and to Westminster, to the World Court for these complaints, and also to Switzerland. We're all ready to go, apart from me, the legal advocate for them. Okay, so if you want to check with Charles Hirschfeld or you, Tai Choi, <coughs> you're quite welcome to see that everything's in order. All it's done is that you've spoken out of place in this field of expertise with the law of the land. These lands are a different uh, mortgage um, contract with those people up accused. They'll lose it. It's up to the lawyers that change the titles to get their money back. And that's what I've got these tenancy agreements, the new tenancy agreements, to take to them. I was going to put them uh, to them and tell them what's happened with their bad title. Now, you must know about land titles. If you don't, then it wasn't your right to speak for 12,000 plus police officers. They're at risk now. You put the whole lot at risk. And your boss, uh, Mike Clements, you talk over the top of his head and his authority. So that's what I'm just saying here in front of everybody, that I'm going ahead onto that section to issue new tenancy agreements under the land laws of England. You have exceeded the recording limit. Thank you. To review this message, press 6. To discard your message and re-record it, press 4. To send your message, press 5. For urgent delivery, press 7. Even though, thank you, your message has been sent. You have reached the New Zealand Police of Voice Mail System. If you know the extension number, please enter it now. Hi, uh, just John One over here. I just left a message with uh, you, Aaron. Thank you for calling. Okay. There. So there we go. I've just made a statement, public statement to you, uh, in front of you, to, uh, I'll switch that off, that's recorded, you see, I record everything when I talk overseas to the High Court in London, and to police officers and any other person who's a threat to what we're doing here um, in our business, corporate business, okay, Maui's corporate business. Anyway, uh, anyway, um, so now, Aaron, they know, I know they don't answer their phones, um, so at least I got a message to him. I should have done this on Tuesday, but I've been busy with uh, putting things together, plus the website for the court hearing. You'll see a video, another video uh, before, uh, just outline what we're doing. We're, we're doing these things openly, so you know you're seeing a full-blown fraud case where police are the prosecutors or lawyers are the prosecutors in their clubhouse, right? They've got their own clubhouse. We've got our own clubhouse on Facebook, okay? In front of a lot of people. That's our clubhouse and our court, right? Serious court. Anyway, so now he's got that, I, I write to him. I sent all of those things to uh, to the High Court in London and uh, the complaints to the um, uh, Secretary of State of Defence, Philip Hammond. You see, he answers me. Every time I send an email there, he answers. Right? The Navy don't answer because they've been told to shut, shut their mouth by John Key, the governments, and the governments in, in, uh, in uh, Britain. They, they, they tell them, don't say anything. Just don't say anything. Right? Plead ignorance and stay silent, hoping it'll go away. No, it won't, won't go away. It won't go away. Anyway, we're going to pursue the matter today.
to go on to the section. I go up. I'm waiting for for Tony Geldenheis. He's he did another case in London for me with um, uh, uh, Falconer, right? Falconer and um, Martin Cicluna, the banker of um, Lloyd's Bank, and this other guy, Falconer. They ripped me off. Ripped me off everything, right? All the money I got sent over there for them to do what I'm doing now. I'm doing the job that they're supposed to do in London for me, uh, to go to the Westminster and to go to the World Court. I, I, I got them to do it. Well, now I've got to go and do it myself. You see, I learned from that. And so we're doing all right. We're doing pretty well so far. By the book. By the book. So, anyway. Aaron, Pasco, you're listening to this video. I'm serious. It's me and you now, okay? Me and you in a contract. Commercial lien contract. Got to bill you. That's all it is. Once you start, anybody, any police, anybody in this country, plays around in front of Moai, Crown, Confederation, with their flag, with their flag, with their flag, you're dicing with danger, because that's a military flag, okay? It's a military, British military protectorate of our trade. Now, we haven't traded yet. We haven't started trading yet. This is the Confederation I'm talking about. We're just about ready to take off and trade with this around the world. This flag will go right over the top of Obama's fake flag with the gold strip around the edge of it. This is the Admiralty King's Bench, King of the Sea, uh, King's Commerce, Bank, Trading, Mortgage, Flag. All in a mouthful. Okay? That's what that is. That's for us to take around each of the countries, the 59 states we're going to, they're waiting for us in the UN to take our seat. They're waiting for us. We're the 59th country. Russia's waiting for us to go and pick up machines and boats and whatnot, all those things. You see? So uh, <coughs> we're, uh, we're just about ready to go. I'll clean this section up. Aaron, I'm doing this for the people of New Zealand, not for me. Not for Mr. Wanoa. I'm doing this. Maui is for the people of the world. That's what it says. Maui, Crown, Confederation, people of the world. Some people. So that's where it goes. Anybody that comes in is going to get a slice out of it from you. Right? We're going to take it off you, like Robin Hood. Not, not, not a bad Robin Hood, good Robin Hood. We're going to take it off you. Oh, Jamie's got the pirate hat. She's good. She's good. She's just practicing. Just, just. Uh, sheriff. Yeah, sheriff. We've got two sheriffs. So anyway, all we're doing is balancing the ledger. Right? Levy. You become a debtor levy now, Mr. Aaron Pasco. And we're converting. I'll tell the people, we're converting what you owe now. We're going to salvage you. Because you came along with your boat. Hoi! Hit my boat. And, oh yeah, I didn't get a black eye. Anyway, you actually injured me and my personality. Eh? You just dented my personality. So for that, it's a price. So you put a little dent in it. So for that, we're going to dent your bank balance. And put that, seize everything with this title. Right? Once we go and seize one, guess what? The rest of the land is joined up to that one. Right? That's how Maori speak. That's how Maori is. All the whole lot. Right? All the whole lot. Maori didn't, didn't sell land. You fellas sold it. Right? When you commit a fraud, we take it off you. Right? Get that. When we commit, when you commit a fraud on these lands, the right thing to do is to take it off you and give it to someone else. Okay? We're going to bring some people here that we like to come and work with us and live with us. Not to cut the money out through the government of Wellington, through that corporation. Uh, Her Majesty the Queen of Right News are all, all done for your own self-interest. The Queen, the Queen
Queen's Bench and you and the Federal State of Australia, Commonwealth of Australia, right? Company, corporation, we're after you for stealing our 1993 Te Ture Whenua for your native, Maori native land act, 52. For your Australian native title, see? Nothing, it doesn't say anywhere in your Native Land Act, we got it from. Where did you get it from? Mr. Aaron Pesca, ask yourself. Your guys are running a business. That's all it is. You're, you're a policeman. You're supposed to be looking after us. No one rang you up to tell you there's an offence happening or something. somebody's questioning you something. You actually came out and said to me, no, you can't do that. I don't like what you're saying. No, no. You can't go on to that section. I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go there if I was you. Right? Take it to the court. Do you see? Take it to your court. Well, we're not going to your court because it's corrupted. We're going to show everybody how corrupted it is. And fraud, committing fraud, is a felony right? already. <coughs> All the Queen's titles are fraud. Now she's pulling out, you see? I've got to tell you a little true story. She's pulling out now and Charlie's going in place to smooth over the fraud. Well, we've already caught her when she signed the Lisbon Treaty. That's when it started, 2009. She signed the Lisbon Treaty, right? About 25th of uh, April, I think it was, uh, 2009. Okay? Her and Gordon Brown, biggest little crooks. Yeah. Then they went private with their private company. She's a private company now, see? And so away she went with the Admiralty Law, sucking away at the King's Bench, with from her King's Queen's Bench lawyers and judges. Okay? Know about it. I learned a lot since this lawyer, uh, Julian F Falconer, in London, screwed me, and also the banker, Lord's banker, Martin Secluna. Those two will be after them. They'll be contracted to go and chase them. They'll find them and strip them. Anybody in the world, in Switzerland, doesn't matter where. John Key, Rick Sainsley from Fakatani, said to me last night, Oh, aren't you going to arrest John Key? I said, Not yet. They're just like little green bottles sitting on the wall. One fell over and the rest, four. It's like that. Like little dominoes. They will fall when you get one. Okay. We've just got one to do on Cook Street. It's there. It's, it's, it's a fraud. It should have been finished long ago, but I've been stringing them out to make sure everybody got billed before we boot them. Okay? So we've covered the, the foreclosure on this country. I'll tell you people, not sort of an idea of what to do with land titles. The little, little... Hang on. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm just recording on a, on a video. <laughs> yeah, in about 10 minutes. Okay. There you go. That's the sheriff. He's a, he's a sheriff, and Hamilton is getting itchy feet. They're going to chase another fraud star. You see? There's plenty of fraud around everywhere. Big business. We're in the fraud business. Um, and Aylet's waiting uh, to chase after everybody. Uh, uh, Aaron, I just want to tell you uh, that uh, it's unfortunate that the police could not see our side of the story of what and who we are as the landlords, the landowners of this country. And it's not right that we should get left off titles. We had a legal right in law under the Te Ture Whenua Act, under the British uh, Act of 1846, 1852 Constitution, right? 1846 and 1852 Constitutions to have a Maori judge sitting in every court in this country. That law still stands. So that's who I am. I'm the other judge, Aaron. 
that's operating beside the judges in the court. They will not be able to stand there if I'm there in the court. That's what I'm saying. I would not need to go into the court because there's nothing for the judge to adjudicate. The fraud is, we, are, we all know, the public knows, the world knows who the fraud says is, and we all know what the offence is and how it happened. Right? All we had to do is tell everybody. And then what is there for you to go and do if you say for me to go to your court? What, what are you going to do? Give it to the judge and he'll take the booty for him and your clubhouse. Now, I'm there for the people. Okay? So that's uh, really what I wanted to do with this little video, to ring you. I'll never get you on the phone because Mike Clement never ever spoke to me after countless um, phone calls and messages, just like this one. That's what you fellows do, fob us off. You fob us off and talk from the, a distance. Right? As soon as I spoke to you the other day, after that, buckle up. No more. See? Uh, so um, the police cannot help us. That's what I'm saying to the British military now. I've got to go and summons them to help us to go and arrest these people up the road. Because if you come anywhere near there, it's going to look rather, rather stupid of having a police force here. What for? Right? Because you're going to arrest one of your crooks. That's why, because you're one. You're in charge of the police. Fraud squad here in Auckland. So, everybody's listening to this video. They're wondering, what the hang's going on here? What are the police for? The police are getting in trouble? The police commissioner's leaving? Rhys Jones, the defence uh, chief in command, command, is leaving? What, why, why is everybody jumping? Because Moai turned up? Or is it you're getting too old for the job? Or something else? It's probably something else. I know what it is. It's the federal state of the Commonwealth of Australia. That's what it is. I can just about say you're swearing to them and to Obama in the federal state. If that's the case, if I'm proven to be right, that's worse than treason. Aaron, that's worse. I'm holding you to that now on this video. For the whole world to see all these videos, I'm holding you and your oath of office to the federal state of New Zealand through the Supreme Court and Sean Elias, the other crook. I'm going her too. All of you are indicted and are in lien warrant for arrest. Okay? All the whole lot of you that your photos are on Facebook. You see, you fellas don't do anything to defend your, your name. It's humiliating you. It's humiliating you and you fail to do anything in front of them, in front of the people and the British government at that. They don't want to pay the bill. They don't want to pay all of this bill that's coming to you. You see, it's you and your queen that have screwed the people through the churches, these Methodist church lands in Auckland, all the churches, land up at Waitangi, those are coming back to the people, right? Now I suggest people, once we get that land block sorted, you can make your mind up which side you want to be in that side with the Queen and her Queen's Bench in the Parliament of Wellington or with Moai and a Moai government. We've got it everything in place to run the country better than it is. Okay? And the confederation around the world. The flag will take us around the world trading because that's what it is. We're already around the world. The government in Wellington can't even get a secure contract because you know why? They do not have the title to the land. I've got it here. I've got it here. You see? I've got it here from the old people. Manu Mohi Manukau Matu Tarawa, uh, Hare Ototonga, Dawi Hongi, uh, you know, and so forth. And all those people. 
entrusted it in me. Okay? So I've got one more left, Sunakora, and the other one, uh, she's the East Coast, right? And Kingi Taurua up north, that's the Waitangi, and Papa Furimo Hehe. Huh? That's enough. We've got enough to go and sort this out. I just want to tell you, Aaron Pascoe, you made a very big mistake. You had a, made a very big mistake without checking me out, without checking with Tony Geldenheis. I'm waiting for him to call me. Tell Tony Geldenheis to call me because I want to explain to him just what happened. Right? I sent all the things to you, the documents to you, and now you would have been talking to Tony Geldenheis, and I think Mike Clement would have donged your head for opening your big mouth and talking to me. Don't underestimate what we're doing here, because I've been at it for a long time. Long time on these land titles. It's taken, taken over three years just to do that one title. There's more to come, right? They'll just fall over in debtors. Debtors. Debtors levy. So we've got a pound note now. We're going to print the pound note against you as payments for your crime in Admiralty Law, right? We're going to start printing the money. That's what we get against debtors. And we seize everything against that. And what's left over, you still owe. So that's why you'll run free for a little while. All you fraudsters will run free for a little while longer. Doug Graham, Silver Cartwright, Helen Clark, all those people, right? You know who I am from right through the years 2000, year 2000, right through to now. Still doing the same thing, right? Still doing the same thing, investigating the title. Okay, thank you very much. I'll catch you later. I'll try and get things off to them now and speed, speed it up because they'll make Sue and Nicole and Gisborne's uh, getting itchy feet. She wants to go. She wants to get things going. So I better hurry up because we've got a lot of things to do. Thank you very much. Catch you later. Bye, John. It's still Wednesday today, uh, 23rd January, 2014. And nice to talk to you. <coughs> and my crew, uh, the Maui crew, um, uh, watching these videos. Our secretary, uh, Jamie, did a nice job uh, with the, uh, with the uh, site, our uh, Facebook site. Have a look at that and uh, have a good read uh, because I tell you, it's all true. Right? Please do not doubt us. Uh, give, us a, give us a go, see where it goes and see what it looks like after this. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye.